I didn't have a problem with that. Well, to me, simply taking pills may address the problem, but it won't get at the underlying cause. I, I just want to sleep. Please. Sorry, he's only a puppy. He won't hurt you. Are you Alison Mundy? Hi, I'm Sandra. Sandra Petch. Can I talk to you? No. It's doing my head in, please. I don't know where else to go. It started with strange feelings ever since I moved in. Said you could see them. Here. Have you ever seen anything? Once. In the bedroom. This dark figure filling the doorway out of the corner of my eye. I locked myself in the bathroom like the bathroom door's going to be any help. Have you heard anything? Noises. Mostly at night. And crying. A woman. Really, really clear, like she's in the room with me. mind of its own too. Uh, roasting hot when you go to bed. Then you wake up in the middle of the night because it's so freezing. Yeah, so... I, uh, I didn't know that you shared the flat. I thought you lived alone. Yes, I do. So who's that then? No one. There's no one in here. It's just you and me. Red with Brendan Page? Yes, Excuse me, you. Dr. Bridge. Ah, please. I'm going to make doctor. It sounds like I'm trying to impress. Tea? No, thank you. Don't worry. I'm not going to say I can see your Aunt Gertie over your left shoulder. It's my day off. What can I do for you? It's just I knew you were coming to the conference. Uh, it's to do with my research at the moment. A book I'm writing. Intriguing. Fire away. You call yourself a psychic medium. You run a very successful business. My question is, how does someone learn to live with your kind of gift? Not everyone can. It's true. It used to be a nightmare. I went right off. All the key characteristics of fantasy-prone personality. And it's been shown that 67% of students who are fantasy-prone met the criteria of... But you're not interested in percentages, are you? And you know what? Neither am I. Are we going to discover what's going on here by looking at charts or chewing on numbers like accountants? What do I know about this person? This medium? Well, I know she's a fragile, courageous person who endured a terrifying near-death experience and survived. Whatever her mind conjured up, it helped her to hold on. I'll tell you what I think. Why I'm constantly fascinated by people like her. The big unsolved question in science at the moment is what is consciousness? Well, maybe people like Alison with their schizoid personalities and abnormal perceptions might hold the key. Her gift is in fact a gift to us because it may be the clue to questions about reality we've barely even asked yet. If we just keep looking. Madelansky, I heard you talk on psychics and lies. Still taking an Uzi to the paranormal, I see. Still telling the truth, for those who want to hear it. More than I can say for some people, I've heard. And what have you heard? You give attention seekers attention. They love it. Newsflash. Play actors like an audience. What if they're not play acting? I rest my case. Ms. Lansky, you're just as entrenched in your beliefs as the people you decimate. My mind is open. 
Just not so open that my brains have fallen out. It's understandable, of course. I heard about your son. I'm sorry for your loss. all over me, under the sheets, touching me. I can hear cry. <laughs> He's there. He's stripped to the waist. I spoke to Brendan Page yesterday. He's a very respected international medium. Have you heard of him? No. Well, he says the best way to get control of the spirits is to minimize your anxiety. Oh, that's brilliant. Just saw a Chinese woman smothered to death in front of my eyes. Didn't do much to minimize my anxiety, I have to tell you. I felt useless. I, I couldn't do anything I, to stop it. All I could do was watch. It's like I'm not there to them. It's, um, it's like a replay, like a time loop. So how do you break that cycle of violence when it's so imprinted, it's so indelible? Uh, I'd like to see this place, meet this Sandra. Why? So that you can rubbish it like you always do? No, because, well, I'm concerned about you. Hi, Jude. Hi. We've met, haven't we? Alison, is it? Yes, that's right. Hello. Well, enjoy your meal. Catch up soon. Hi. Hi. You okay? How are you? Okay, that's the address. What to wish is my command. I know I'll get over it. I just need to sort my head out. I just can't. Well, you will. <laughs> There's plenty more fish in the sea than that tosser. Anyway, you are a fabulous looking girl. I like you, you can come again. <laughs> it was bad, wasn't it? Leo likes things his own way. Felt a bit threatened when he didn't get it. Like a little boy. Mm. I went out with a bloke like that once. He didn't like things that didn't fit in with the little rules in his little head. Anyway, bollocks to that, it's all water under the bridge. Did he... was he violent? Uh, once. Yeah. But once was enough, I didn't hang about. I was out of there like shit off a shovel. How about you? Did Leo ever? Not anymore. Look at that. 
<laughs> what a team. Robert's speciality is explaining things away. It keeps him happy. <sighs> That's unfair. I'm not claiming these things don't happen to people. Clearly they do. Lots of people have experiences of some kind when they're recently bereaved. I'm not bereaved. Well, the end of a relationship is a kind of bereavement in a way. Are you saying it's me? The question is, do ghosts exist if nobody's there to see them? I don't think they do. Certain factors can contribute to the ghost seeing experience. Fatigue, alcohol, the weather, your cultural or religious beliefs. I don't have any beliefs. Or your levels of fear, then, or expectation. Domestic stresses and strains. Robert, these spirits, these spirits here are acting out the past. They're like robots. They don't need us to see them. They're locked in a moment, trapped in a cycle of despair. Um, the uh, bulbs are always blowing five, six times a week, a day, even. That cup just moved. I put it there and now it's there. Did you see it? Shit! Shit! It's okay, it's right. Home is a place where everyone should feel safe. When I was a kid, I used to sing ten green bottles over and over again in my head to keep the bogeymen away. Sometimes I didn't realise I'd be singing it out loud and my mum would come up and tuck me in. What was your mother like? Relationships always leave marks. Wounds. Maybe that's what rooms hold on to. Like Pandora's box waiting to be opened. Tell me about Josh. I won't say anything. I just want to know what was he like. He had blonde hair. He... Robert, don't tell me what he looked like. Tell me something that you remember. When he was about four, we went to a carnival on the Downs. He was desperate to get his face painted. He had his heart set on this photo of Spider-Man. I want to look like him. And the, the poor guy did his best, but to be honest, he didn't look much like Spider-Man. He didn't look much like anything, really. And Josh looked in the mirror and looked at the photo and looked at the mirror and Look at the photo. Do you ever feel him near you? No.
That's all right, Alison, you're awake. You're awake. Ken. Make sure he isn't turning away good punters. Letting his mates in. How's the migraine? Don't worry. It's probably just a brain tumour. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Like what? If you want to worry, worry about looking gorgeous. You used to be good at that. You should be so lucky. Don't go out. Don't invite anybody in. Don't make any phone calls. If you do, I'll know. Don't answer the phone. Don't use the stereo. If you eat... Wash the plate and leave it out for you to check before putting it away. You think you can manage that? Good. Hey. Give your husband a kiss. Alison, you're awake. You're awake. You suffered what's called sleep paralysis. Hypnagogic hallucination isn't unknown. Robert, it... will you just... Sandra, you can't stay here. You have to leave here right now. I was going to bring you this up. Oh, I don't think I could face anything. Did you sleep all right? Like a baby. I'm glad one of us did. What time do you have to be in work? Hey, do you know what? I'm sorry. I never asked you. What is it that you do? A uh, shoe shop broadmead. I wanted to say it. I'd be cool about it. Right, well, I'm going to have a bath and then, um, and then head up to the shops. Do you mind if I stay here for a while? I just need to sort myself out. Of course. Be my guest. Hello, Jude. He's not in today. I know. Uh, actually, I wasn't looking for him. I was looking for you. Have you got a minute? Absolutely. Look, I know it's none of my business, but this woman, Alison, is she a girlfriend? Is it serious? No, no, God, it's professional. His interest is in... He tests certain kinds of people. You know that. It's... Look, maybe this isn't the best time just now. I've remember... <laughs> Why are you being so cagey, Bob? I'm not. I don't like her, that's all. I... I don't think she's a good influence on him. I don't know why. Yes, you do. You know exactly why, don't you? Barge and Yeah. They don't know. Hello, Mr. Bridge. Charlie. Blimey, you're a giant. I didn't recognize you. Now it's Storm and Norman. Still got egg stains on his tongue. I don't have Mr. Norman anymore. He teaches the little kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course he does. I'm in juniors now. Are you? Of course you are. That's great. It's exciting. Don't work too hard. 
My dad says I have to. Well, you don't always have to listen to your dad, do you? Well, goodbye. Hi. Listen, I found some mates. They're going to let me stay there for a while. I'm not going back. Oh, good. That's great. Yeah. Um, talking to you made me realise I mustn't be weak. I've got to find the strength to sell the flat and move on. Whatever's ahead of me. What about the spirit? Maybe it's impossible to help them. Maybe the bad choices you make in life are never undone. You have to try and make positive ones. It was a bad place for you to be in, Sandra. I know. Thank you. Thanks for your help. It's OK. Bye-bye, Sandra. Bye. Take care. I will. Bye, Moscow. See ya. Sit down, let me get you a coffee or something. What's happened? Is it Clive? What is it you get up to with this woman? Miss Allison? How often do you see her? Whoa! I, I'm writing a book about her. I'm studying her. What do you want me to write about? Taxation? Detergent? It's what I do. And what does she do, Robert? She contacts the dead, correct? It's sick. She's sick. No, you're sick. Is this your twisted way of... No, it isn't. Look, I know that you feel grief, blame, self-hate, but consulting... I'm not consulting anybody. It's work. Don't tell me you haven't talked about Josh. We haven't. I haven't. Do you think I'm an idiot, Robert? No. Look, I have tried so hard to be kind, to be... to be helpful to you. But I can't let your feelings have a hold on my life anymore. It's not fair. I'm not asking you to. I never asked you to. Look, if you were screwing her, I... I wouldn't mind. I'd be glad. But... but this is... this is a betrayal. Don't you see that? It's not betraying me. You're... Be, you're betraying Josh. <laughs> The good memories that we have of Josh. You, you just abuse them. <laughs> no, God. I have to go. I have, I have to get out of here. Don't. Don't go, Jude. Please, don't go like this. Why? Please. You know I wouldn't hurt you for the world. What can I do? Tell me. If Josh means anything to you, you'll promise me you won't see her again. I do. I promise.
You're signing autographs? Sorry? You're signing autographs now? I think you've got me mixed up with Cameron Diaz, mate. Can I, can I look at that? Yeah. Did you find of a haunting, Dr. Ridge? You think you've proved something? You haven't. You conned her with a cheap trick, that's all. You're the fraud. You're despicable. Oh, don't be the high and mighty, Robert. Come on. You've written about this stuff for years, and you think you're a bullshit just like you. No, I'm not like you, Sandra, or whatever the hell your name is. It's Nicola. The difference is, Nicola, I want to find the truth. You know, you just want to sell newspapers, and you don't care who you hurt in the process. Alison hurts people. Weak, dumb people, not me. If this wrecks her reputation and stops her, I'm glad. Go to hell. Unquote. Thank you. Welcome to my world. I can see you're busy. Yes, I am. Would you care for a wee draft? I'd love to see what happens when Dr. Robert Bridge gets completely rat assed Do you think this is going to help? It's going to help me. Why did I come? Well, how the hell should I know? I'm not psychic. I'm not psychic. It's no use getting upset. We may as well face up to the fact that we've been had. She made fools of us. No, she made fools of them. You were suggestible, and so was I. We both saw and heard things that couldn't possibly no, have I existed. I know what I saw. Alison, come on. It's there in black and white. Well, I don't care, because I saw that man bending over me. I felt that pillow on my face. It was make-believe. She made us believe. My, my plan was simple, to invent a ghost and see if a medium would nevertheless see Well, she must have picked up on something that was there. There were no ghosts. There couldn't possibly be any ghosts. The block was built in 1967, and my mum lived in there up until two months ago. And she never saw or heard anything. Shut no one died there or even lived there except for her. Shut up! What are you doing? Are you finished? Why can't you cope with reality? Why can't you, you do something to help yourself? I came here... Yeah, why? Why did you come here, Robert? Why? I told you what Brendan Page said about removing stress from your life. And do you, you know what? Just go. Just go away. Go home, because I don't want you here, Robert. Go. The truth is, you, 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 you don't want to be helped, do you? You don't want the spirits to leave you alone. No, they won't leave me alone! Your dead son won't leave me alone! I didn't approve of what Sandra did or how she did it, but you know what? It's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Josh is lost. He's in limbo, Robert, and the only person who can help him move on is you. No. What keeps him here is your insanity. What kind of father are you, Robert? Did you go to him in the night when he cried? Well, he's crying now. He cries all the time. He cries and cries, and I can hear him. Shut up! Shut up! Don't you push me! No! I think I made him mad, Josh. I think I made him angry, eh, Joshy? I think a professional arrangement has come to its natural end. I want it to end. No, you don't. I do. It's over. No, don't reject him. I'm not rejecting him. I'm rejecting you. Please, don't. Please don't let him suffer just because you and I...
We're gonna be happy here. This is a happy 